Hi friends, this is Mona. Welcome to Miracle Creatures channel. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, like, comment and click the bell icon to get the latest videos. Life cycle. Most insects begin their lives as fertilized eggs. The coriel or eggshell is commonly pierced by respiratory openings that lead to an air-filled meshwork inside the shell. For some insects, e.g., cockroaches and mantids, a batch of eggs is cemented together to form an egg packet or othaka. Insects may pass unfavorable seasons in the egg stage. Eggs of the springtail, Smintoris columbola, and of some grasshoppers, Orthoptera, pass summer droughts in a dry shriveled state and resume development when moistened. Most eggs, however, retain their water although they may pass the winter in a state of arrested development, or diapause, usually at some early stage in embryonic development. However, dried eggs of eaves, mosquitoes enter a state of dormancy after development is complete and quickly hatch when placed in water. The hatching of young larvae is achieved in several ways. Some, such as caterpillars, bite their way out of the egg. Many, such as the flea, have hatching spines with which they cut a slit in the shell. Some insect eggs have a preformed escape cap that the larva pops from the shell by increasing the pressure inside the egg. Depending on the species, this may be accomplished either by swallowing air and then constricting muscles in the body to exert pressure on the cap or by having an expandable region on the head. Many diptera have a tilinum that can be extended by hydraulic blood pressure. After hatching, the lava continues to distend itself in this way, although the tilinum collapses back into the body, until the cuticle hardens. Once formed, the insect's cuticle cannot grow. Growth can occur only by a series of moles, ecdyses, during which new and larger cuticles form and old cuticles are shed. Molting makes possible large changes in body form. Sensory Perception and Reception Touch Insects have an elaborate system of sense organs. Tactile hairs, concentrated on the antennae, palps, legs, and turkey, cover the entire body surface. The hairs serve to inform the insect about its surroundings and its body position, a phenomenon known as proprioception. For example, contact between the hairs on the feet and the ground inhibits movement and may lead to a state of rest in some insects. Modified mechanical sense organs in the cuticle called campaniform organs detect bending strains in the integument. 
such organs exist in the wings and enable the insect to control flight movement. Campaniform organs, well developed in small club like Altera, the modified hind wings of Dipterans, serve as strain gauges and enable the fly to control its equilibrium in flight. Sound. Exceedingly sensitive organs called sensilla are concentrated in organs of hearing. These can be found on the bushy antennae of the male mosquito or tympanal organs in the front legs of crickets or in abdominal pits of grasshoppers and many moths. In moths, these sensitive organs can perceive the high-pitched sounds emitted by bats as they hunt by echolocation. Insects complement organs of sound reception with sound-producing organs, which usually are, as in crickets, wing membranes that vibrate in response to movement of a stiff rod across a row of stout teeth. Sometimes, as in cicadas, a timbal membrane in the wall of the thorax is set in vibration by a rapidly contracting muscle attached to it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel, like, comment and click the bell icon to get the latest videos. Bye, friends.